she is not feeling that well today. I've been having these quite often lately. For this year with the energy crisis, I wonder if it's gonna be the same. What have you got there? I'll show you what I got. The cutest thing. <laughs> Favourite day of the week. Big <laughs> day. I've said it many times, I know I would change my ways, I know for sure When all the crows decide to meet They settle down beneath my feet I've got it right and I got it wrong But I learned my lesson hanging on Come sit here with me by the fire And let it go for a little while So be here as the night starts falling Let my fingers walk over your head We got nothing to be scared of I'd rather be with you Always in your hand Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel and to another vlog today I have been quite productive so far. I've got the kids to school, the food shop's arrived, the laundry is on, I've listened to some of my audio book, I've done some tidying up, I even ordered some Christmas presents this morning. It's been quite productive and I'm actually having quite a chilled day today because Kiki, who you may be able to see in the background, had her operation yesterday. I talked a bit about it in a previous video but she was spayed yesterday um, and actually while she was under, they also said that two of her baby teeth have never fallen out so they decided to take them out at the same time so poor thing she is not feeling that well today we were actually really surprised how perky she was when we picked her up yesterday and she had a good night and everything i've given her some pain relief this morning the vet gave me a really good tip to hide the medication in pate she ate it all up so that was such a relief because if i've ever tried to hide medication before in like cheese soft cheese she knows straight away so that was a really good tip and to avoid having like a cone she's actually wearing this really adorable little bodysuit that you can get the vet that we went to actually sold them but you can get them online as well and it's been so nice that she doesn't have to wear a big cone around her neck she can just wear the bodysuit and she can't kind of get to the area at all so I'm pretty much just going to hang out and keep an eye on her today I'm going to do some decluttering around the house and just sort a few things out so I thought I would film kind of like a day with me get it all done type video. I'm gonna start out by decluttering the boys shared bathroom. We moved into our ensuite a couple of months ago. But I still have some products and things in their bathroom. So I'm gonna move them in here. I've got this vanity unit, which is actually pretty much empty. So I can put some stuff in here and in our bathroom as well. So I'm now in the boys bathroom and I'm gonna have a really good sort out of it. But before I do, I also wanted to let you know that today's video has been kindly sponsored by the wonderful Skin and Me. I'm such a massive fan of Skin and Me and so many of you have tagged me in your stories or messaged me saying that you have received your first daily doser and how much you're liking it as well. And they've actually given me another incredible discount code that I'm allowed to share with you guys for the month of November. So if you don't know who Skin and Me are, they make powerful personalized skincare products that contain active ingredients that you basically just can't get over the counter. All of their products are designed by dermatologists and what I love about it is you're getting expert care and skincare advice 
from a dermatology team, but without the price tag, without the wait times, without even having to go anywhere. Everything is done virtually and the product arrives. It's tailored for your skin. It's even got your name right on the front of it and it's for your skin goals. So the way that it works is you go onto their website, you fill out a very simple online questionnaire and you actually send off three makeup free photos as well. And you include like your skin goals. So for me, I wanted to have brighter skin. I wanted to think about anti-aging as well because obviously I'm getting older and I wanted like, I was a bit worried about my hormonal acne. Basically, whenever it's like my time of the month, um, I know through my skin. <laughs> so you can put all of that information into the questionnaire and then that will get sent off to their team of experts who will look at your notes, your goals, your photos and come up with the perfect treatment plan for you. And then the formulation will arrive in the form of this daily doser, which fits through your letterbox. It's so simple to use. It has been such a game changer when it comes to my nightly skincare routine because it's very streamlined now. I just need three products. You know, we're talking about decluttering today. I'll cleanse my face. Then I'll put the daily doser on. And the way that you know you're getting the perfect amount of products is you just twist it up until that click. And it's only a tiny amount of product, but as I said, it's very powerful and it contains active ingredients. But I'll just dab that all over my face and let it sink in so I'll normally brush my teeth, floss, all of that in between. And then I'll put my moisturizer on top of that and that is literally it. The combination of ingredients and the levels of the ingredients as well will be different for everyone. Matt has skin in me as well, so his daily doser might be different to mine and actually as you go through like I've been doing it for months now the amounts of the active ingredients might even increase depending on your skin but I feel like since I've been using it my skin is just more radiant a little bit brighter more exfoliated like when I wash my face now it feels very clean yeah but anyway if you do want to test it out for yourself they've given me an incredible discount code you can have your first month of the daily doser for just £3.50. Normally this is $24.99, but you can have a good month testing it out, see what you think of it, see if your skin likes it. If it doesn't work for you, absolutely no problem. You can just cancel it. But if it does, of course you can carry on with it like I do. So I'll put the code on screen. It's gonna be Emily11Y. And I'll also put the link in my description as well. Um, but with all that said, let's now get cleaning. <laughs> should calm down and that I'm overthinking everything about you and that we're good the way we are mm -hmm. but I don't know that much about you what things you like and what you don't Right, so I'm halfway through the bathroom. I actually just put all of the little storage containers into the dishwasher on a quick wash. So that's gonna be about 30 minutes. So I thought it was a good opportunity for me to have lunch. So today I'm literally just having a grilled cheese. Grilled cheese? What do I say? Grilled chicken wrap. I've been having these quite often lately because they're really filling. I think they're pretty healthy. Uh, so I've got a whole meal wrap. I've got half an avocado cut up some little cherry tomatoes cut up, and then like a chicken breast as well, which has been grilled. Um, so I'm just gonna eat that now. <laughs> you know we should work it out. You know we should work it out. Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask you, ask you all my questions, get to know you better. Why can you be trusted? Will you take me for granted?
Okay guys, I am finally all done. That took ages, but now look, these are the boys' cupboards, looking so nice and clean. I got these little clear inserts um, just on Amazon. Then I've got a few other bits down here. There are wash bags for sleepovers and stuff. Um, and then over here, we've basically got towels, We've got toilet paper, tons of it. <laughs> and then also cleaning products. So yes, getting nice and organized now. Okay, so the boys' bathroom is all clean now. And I actually had a call with my sister while I was cleaning it because I wanted to like catch up with her. It was my niece's birthday a few days ago. So I wanted to see like how her party went and all that and also plan for Christmas. Can't believe how quick it's creeping up on us. I've ordered a few gifts, advent calendars, things like that, but I really wanted to book anything in, like things that we wanna do when she's over and just in general in the lead up to Christmas. So next week, we're actually going to this like elf musical in London, so that should be really good. We've also booked um, two nights at Centre Parks. You know we love Centre Parks, we've actually spent Christmas there in the past but for this year i thought it would be good to just go you know like a weekend leading up to christmas do all the festive things see santa do the grotto all of that almost have like a really christmasy weekend and then we've almost like ticked that box like just within a couple of days it's all in one place we've done that this also just arrived i've got this little like chocolate um house i bought this last year and we made it and it was really fun it's so simple to make you basically just put the dairy milk bars together melt down some chocolate and like attach like little buttons and a flake and a roof and stuff like that and you can like decorate with the icing as well so i've got that because i thought it'd be quite a good thing to have like in the house you know if you're ever stuck in waiting for a delivery or you've just got like a quiet day at home because you're like prepping for christmas i thought we could do that normally we'll get like a pre-made gingerbread house to make as well and i was also trying to think of our other christmas traditions one of them is getting the kids like bathed into pjs we make hot chocolate to take with us and then we get in the car and we go to see the christmas lights there's a place in essex called nailing street they do this huge display of lights and it's all for charity so you can either just go there drive around or if the weather's not too bad we'll actually get out have a good look and then you can like donate some money to like the ones that you like or you can donate to all of them i was thinking though this year with the energy crisis i wonder if it's gonna be the same because literally there's so many lights <laughs> um so that's one of the traditions another one is a christmas eve box um obviously the elf on the shelf comes to visit us as well and then i normally order a new family bauble every year so i might go onto etsy and have a look for that um and our tree you may see it's already up we did it the other day i filmed it it's going to be in a decorate with me um video maybe i'll show you a few of the baubles from previous years that we got but i kind of wanted to get another one of those and then the only other traditions is Matt normally makes 
steak and chips on a Christmas Eve, which is really nice because I don't have to do anything. He does that. And then we're hosting Christmas this year. Let me know if you'd like a video about hosting Christmas. We haven't done it that much, so I'm not an expert, but it might help me to get organized as well and plan for it. Um, but yeah, let me know as well if you have any other Christmas traditions. I'd be so interested to hear in the comments down below. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to have a little look and then I actually need to get the kids from school quite soon as well. And I can't decide whether to take them somewhere after school because we haven't got any clubs on today, which is really nice, or to just come back and like hang out and do homework and stuff. I don't know if you can see this one because it's really shiny, but this one was from 2020 and it was when it was locked down. So it says, when the world stayed apart, we stayed together, the Norris family, 2020. And then we have quite a few like this, which are really cute because as the years go on, like more people get added to them as well. Um, there's this one. This was one we actually got on our um, wedding day, which is such a nice gift idea because every year I like put it out. And then one year I made these, I got the little cardboard ornaments from Hobbycraft and then I printed a picture. And then you know that glue that's like paper mache? I got a glitter one and put it on. And then I also printed out like the things that the kids wanted for Christmas that year. And so I thought that would be quite a cute keepsake. This is one of Fraser's nativity ones that I made. Also did these ones one year. This was actually, we have these from like a wedding favor, from a wedding we went to, which was really cute. And then when I ran the half marathon, I turned um, the medal into a Christmas decoration because it was wood. I thought that would be quite cute because I didn't know what to do with it either. Um, but yeah, I've got our new home. So many baby ones. There's an adorable one of Caleb's first Christmas because it's got his little hand on it. Look, so cute. Um, and yeah, here's the boys. So yeah, I definitely want to get like a new bauble. Oh yeah, this is the one from when Fraser was born. It says Fraser Bear 2010. So we've got the boys from school and now we're actually going to go to a local garden centre that does the best Christmas display. We thought as there's no clubs tonight we've got some time between getting these ones and then getting Fraser we will go and see the display and possibly choose a new oh, no. Christmas ornament. We could each choose one maybe. Go yeah? Quick. So we're going to go, we're going to go. Okay, let's go. Oh my gosh, we've just arrived. And it is amazing. Look at the snowman boys, they need to get one. I've been working so much lately. I can barely find the time to sleep. Yeah, spend my time running around. Keeping people please. This is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be?
Okay, so we are back now, and so is Fraser. Daddy's made burgers for dinner. So we're just gonna eat these now, and then I'll show you what I got from the shop. We didn't get too much. Basically, the kids were more interested in the fish that were there than the Christmas decorations. <laughs> But we managed to get a couple, we each chose one. So nice I'll show you. Yeah, it was basically like, I was like, come on boys, it's closing soon. You didn't choose a fish. Like Let's go the decorations. And they, they were just like loving the fish. And like, there was this eel they were looking at for ages. Yeah. So yeah, but it was pretty good in there. If you're from Essex, which I know a lot of you aren't, but someone's gonna ask me what garden center it was. It's called Summer Hill, is that right? Yeah. Summer Hill. Um, and every year they really go to town with Christmas. First off, I got this mat. <laughs> I know it's really plain, but I just really liked it. They had loads of like red and green ones, but the porch lights and baubles that we have are like blue and silver. So I actually didn't want any of the red ones. So we've got this one. What do you think, Kiki? And then we got, oh yeah, I thought this was quite cool. It's a tablecloth that the kids can color on. So we're gonna have like an adult's table and a kid's table at Christmas. So I thought that would be really good for the kids and all their cousins to color in. And then those are the pens for it. Then I just chose some of these sparkly red baubles cause I thought they go really well with the tree. So I've got a couple of those. Jackson chose this little robin, which was very cute and just clips onto the tree. Then we also got this little nutcracker as well. We have two big ones on the porch, so we thought we'd get that little one as well. And then Caleb chose this donut here. And then in the front room, we're gonna have like a pink tree. So I got the pink donut for that as well, because I thought it was really, really sweet. Um, and then got a chocolate for the boys for dessert. So yeah, she's gonna put them on the tree. It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. Is she not the most cutest thing you've ever seen? She's been such a good girl. Oh, really brave. Look at her. <laughs> Just chilling. What are you watching, Jack? Okay, so now the boys are all bathed and Matt has taken Fraser to his football training tonight. Now that he's older, he actually has it so late. Um, so he's gone off to that and I've just actually tried to put up a real stories and a TikTok. I'm finding it really hard to keep up with all the different platforms because obviously YouTube's always, like, always been my number one. So that's normally my priority. And then I'm like, oh, I better do something for Instagram and I better do something for TikTok and I nearly like forget. Um, but I managed to put something up. So now I've just come upstairs. I basically, the boys had the projector while I was doing that just for like 20 minutes or whatever. He was watching a show. So now I've come upstairs and I'm going to read with Jackson and then read to Jackson, put him to bed. And then I'm gonna get Caleb who's reading and then put him to bed. So that's the plan. Kiki swallowed me upstairs as well, bless her. Like she, she's really been surprising me. Like I didn't think she'd be able to walk upstairs and stuff, but she's actually like so good. Where is Jackson? Jax, where are you? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Come on, we gotta go read now. He's colouring in here. What are you colouring? Shopkin faces. Oh, Shopkin faces. Eyes on that, eyes on that, and I'm doing this one. Wow, they're so good. Kev's on that one, Kev's on that one, eyes on that one, eyes on that one, now I'm doing this one. Wow. You're so good at drawing, Jax. Do you really like drawing? Not that much. But you're always drawing. I don't. Do you know your teacher said he's got such good handwriting, didn't she? I learned that. Did you learn Caleb that? Caleb and Jackson's drawing. Wow, that's excellent. Is it their drawing? Yeah, very impressive. You spelt that right. So tonight we're reading 
the fox and the stork. See if we uh, can. What are we eating? What's that? And what are we eating? Right, should we try? Should we try? Show them your front teeth. They're literally about to fall out. They're really <coughs> wiggly, aren't they? Everybody, my mummy had got. She she had got a, a silver subscriber thing. <gasps> I do. Are you impressed? No. Uh, <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Show them your front teeth. I think we can have no teeth for Christmas. Okay, so I'm just laying out the boys' clothes for tomorrow, like I normally do on the banister. But tomorrow, Caleb is going as a viking because he's having like viking day so i ordered this little costume for him on amazon um so yeah he's gonna wear that in the morning <laughs> so now it's your turn and what do we do every night <laughs> tickle torture time tickle torture time mm -hmm. he's always like tickle me and he's like stop <laughs> <laughs> But carry on, yeah? No. <laughs> it's like, stop, carry on, Not stop, legs. carry on. No. 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 Oh my god. All the kids are finally in bed. Basically, Fraser got home, had to shower, then he had to study for an ex like a test he's got tomorrow. Oh. And so we were chatting with him, and then we just tied up the kitchen. And now oh. it's 10.30, so we're just going to chill here with Kiki, <laughs> who's like, I think she wants to get off on the couch. Um, but yeah, I thought I would just show you that Matt's still here. Yeah. Got to <laughs> get like, an early yeah, night tonight. You haven't featured in... Uh, why, Why we've got to get an early night? Why? Tomorrow's bin day. Oh yeah, it's your favourite day of the week. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> it's a big day. He like the whole week builds up to bin day, and then just a big we blue job. Start again. Yeah, <laughs> it's your job. You start again. It does oh, make you realise yeah. how quickly the weeks go when you put the rubbish out. You're like, oh my god, it's been a week. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I measure life. Such a big how many bin days till like, holiday? Till Christmas? It's bin day tomorrow. <laughs> when we go on holiday, I'm like, what day are we going? It's not a Thursday. Oh, what are we going to do with yeah, the rubbish? What are we going to do with that rubbish? It's going to be in, in the bin for a week. I'm glad you worry about stuff like that. I never have to think about rubbish or petrol. <laughs> do I? No, that's true. You always fill it up. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. Oh, I hope you enjoyed. You are. Yeah, I um sorry, she's like all the dancing around and I'm like, but What's wrong with her? Tell. I know she's like I don't know what's I'm angry so but she's I'm so happy. chewy. He's so like you <laughs> She's angry but wagging as hell. Stop it. What's wrong with her? She doesn't I'm want chewy. you to end the video. When I honestly she work she doesn't like vlogging. She knows when I vlog, then she should make noise. She's like, you're She's like, me that's attention. gonna really like, that's what the kids do too. Yeah, but anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to check out my Skin and Me code in the description. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.